Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to add mixed numbers with regrouping. So once we get to our answer, it's going to require some regrouping because the fractional parts of these mixed numbers are going to add to give us something more than a whole. So we're going to have an improper fraction um, within that answer, and we do not want to leave it with an improper fraction. So you'll see exactly what I mean as far as with regrouping as we go through our two examples here. So let's jump into number one, where we have six and three fourths plus two and a half. So the first thing I like to do, I like to rewrite the problem vertically, so up and down. Six and three fourths plus two and a half. So I have my fractions lined up and my whole numbers lined up. Now we can go through our process. So we are able to add our fractions if we have a common denominator. In the case of number one, we have three fourths and a half. So we don't have a common denominator, so we need to find one. So the least common denominator for a four and a two is going to be a four. So that's our common denominator. Now we need to rename. So let's rename with that common denominator of four. So six and three fourths, that doesn't need renamed. It already has a denominator of four plus two and how many fourths? So we need to rename that half so it has a denominator of four. We need to keep it equivalent. It's still going to equal a half, be equivalent to a half. So how do we get two to equal four? Well, we know two times two equals four. So whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top in order to keep it equivalent. So one times two is two. So now we're ready to add because we have a common denominator. So three fourths plus two fourths is five fourths. Six plus two, our whole numbers, is eight. So we get eight and five fourths. So we just added. Now we need to regroup and simplify. So five fourths is an improper fraction. It's greater than one whole. We don't want to leave our answer like this. So what we need to do, we need to convert that five fourths to a mixed number. We don't want to leave it improper. So we do five divided by four. How many whole groups of four out of five? Well, one whole group of four out of five. Does it hit five exactly? No, we have a remainder or one left over and keep our denominator of four the same. So five fourths equals one and one fourth. But that's not our final answer there. Don't forget about this eight holes here. So let's bring that down. And what we need to do, we need to combine our whole numbers here. We are regrouping that one whole with the eight. Combine our whole numbers. So we get nine holes. And then don't forget about our fraction. So nine and one fourth. So to recap, we converted this improper fraction to a mixed number and regrouped the whole number from that mixed number with the eight. Now I do want to mention that you should always check to see if you can simplify the fractional part of your answer, but in the case of number one, one fourth is in simplest form. The only common factor between your numerator and denominator, the one and four, is one, so it's simplified and we are done. Let's do another example. So we'll move on to number two here where we have seven and four fifths plus four and two thirds. So let's line these mixed numbers up. Okay, so we need a common denominator in order to add our fractions. So five and three, therefore, are denominators. Obviously, they are not the same. So we need a least common denominator for a five and a three. It's going to be 15. So let's rename. So seven and how many fifteenths plus four and how many fifteenths? So let's rename. We know five times three is 15. So four times three gives us 12. Whatever we do to the bottom, we have to do to the top in order to keep it equivalent. So we know three times five gives us a denominator of 15. So do the same thing to the top. Two times five is 10. Now we're ready to add. So let's add our fractions. 
12 plus 10 is 22, and this is 15 ths. 7 plus 4 is 11. So we have a mixed number here with a whole 11 and then 22 15 ths, so an improper fraction. We don't want to leave it like that. So we need to convert that to a mixed number. So we do 22 divided by 15. How many whole groups of 15 out of 22? Well, one with seven left over, because we did not hit 22 exactly, one 15 out of 22, we have a remainder of seven. Keep our denominator of 15 the same. Don't forget about our 11. So we need to regroup or combine our whole 11 and then that one for our final answer. So 11 plus that one whole gives us 12, I'm running out of room so I will write it below, 12 and then our fractional part of 7 fifteenths. Now always check to see if you can simplify the fractional part of an answer, 7 fifteenths, the only common factor between 7 and 15 is 1, so it is simplified and we are done. So there you have it. There's how you add mixed numbers with regrouping. All you need to do is convert that improper fraction to a mixed number and then combine your whole numbers and bring your fractional part down with your answer as well. So I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.